Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at another free to play challenge and this is to complete right, the low class warriors event of the legendary Goku or the fighting legend Goku event completely free to play without any summonable units or world tournament units. I include world tournament units. Most people say world tournament units are free to play. But if you are a new player and you start this week and you try to use a world tournament unit, it's literally impossible. So I like to rule out world tournament units unless it's like I absolutely have to to meet the requirement for a stage or something. But yeah, uh, so we're using a low class warriors team, pretty self explanatory as well as you can imagine. The low class warriors units that we are using are, of course, the Team Bardock units that you get from the Team Bardock daily event that you can do on Dokken Battle. So it should be pretty self explanatory. Obviously, you know, for most players, it's a pretty straightforward process. And you get the LR Team Bardock as well. And a lot of Team Bardock uh, are pretty decent. I would say they need to do something with these guys. I don't even think we have all the copies of a lot of Team Bardock. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think we have all the copies of a lot of Team Bardock. Like, we can't even rainbow a lot of Team Bardock, if I remember correctly. But yeah, a lot of Team Bardock is pretty straightforward. Uh, and obviously, the rest of the Team Bardock is straightforward. We have Strength Bardock, who's a great unit. He has damage reduction based on the amount of Team Bardock members on the team, uh, which makes him pretty strong. He can have some pretty high damage reduction, and he'll gain attack and defense based on how many orbs he has, along with critical hits. So he's just a very good unit. Fantastic slot one unit that we'll be utilizing. We then also have Tora, uh, who's a fantastic stacking unit, who provides support as well. He's going to be on the other rotation, and he's going to be providing healing, stacking, uh, support for the tech Bardock, who's our friend lead. So pretty cool stuff there. In terms of linking up with Strength Bardock, we're going to be using our Lord and Savior Shugesh. Uh, Shugesh stacks defense, which makes him somewhat suitable for the second slot role there. And of course as well, uh, he's just pretty decent, I would say. We're then going to be floating Fasha, and Team Bardock and Borgos. Borgos being the AGL Borgos, a uh, pretty good unit, uh, you know, solid, better in like SBR and ESBR situations for myself, more than like Fighting Legend Goku situations and things like that. Uh, but he's still decent, still does a pretty solid job across the board. Intfasha provides some support after she does evade. Uh, but generally speaking, she's again also more an ESBR, SBR situation unit. She's pretty solid from that perspective. Uh, you know, her support can kick in there, her evasion helps out a lot. Her debuffing also helps out a lot. Beyond that, she doesn't really do a massive amount in these longer form events. Which is the only real kind of shame. And then obviously Team Bardock. Team Bardock provides support to Team Bardock units, which is great. And it's just a decent-ish unit. Again, they really need to easy air that unit. Or at least it has a rainbow that unit. Like, it's just very strange how long it's taken to max out Team Bardock. It's just very weird. Anyway, um, yeah, low-class warriors. There's some other options I guess you could use. Like, you have the giant ape Bardock, which you could use. But honestly, like... I just wouldn't really, he's not like super spectacular as a unit, it's not like he blows minds, and he's just kind of okay, like he does a decent job, but he's, again, not really a unit that's going to blow your mind or anything like that, he's not going to hard carry you, and he can fall off a little bit in the tech phases, he can take quite a substantial chunk of damage. You have a couple Raditzes, but by using the full team Bardock, Especially now that we have the tech Bardock, you can actually just use the Int LR Bardock as your lead. Which is better overall because it provides you with better stats overall. So like when you are building your team, if you run like Raditz or anyone like that, 
then you end up in this kind of awkward situation where you don't do like a lot of damage you know or you have to use a lower lead like we have to use strength bardock as a lead and things like that and you know it's, you can still do it that way but i just like to run the team ella bardock because you have better higher stats across the board so even though they themselves are not spectacular uh, having all the higher stats tends to help out quite a bit it makes the team run like a little bit you know kind of better but beyond that the team runs pretty well uh, can't really complain too much i think everything kind of works here the only real shame about the bardock team or the team bardock team or the low class warriors team whichever way you want to swing it is the fact that like unlike the guinea force who have their two LR units who really really help out the team this team doesn't have that so it doesn't have like physical ginyu it doesn't have tech ginyu which the ginyu force team has they've got a lot team bardock and a lot team bardock's okay but not not like world breaking not like insane or anything like that so i think that's kind of one thing i would definitely improve in terms of free to play options i think that definitely helps out a lot and yeah i think that that could help out this team and, and just make it function uh, you know a little bit better overall more so than like more so than like how it's currently functioning but the team gets it done pretty easy a couple items uh, you know especially since we're in the tech phase and we've got quite a few tech units being our strong units overall so you're going to have to save some active skills uh, some items for the int phase like our team will be fine and we have some units that would be fine with like taking supers and that like Bardock would be okay Toro wouldn't take huge damage but it's just to play it safe and yeah overall just some pretty good stuff like saving Bardock's active skill for the end phase as well and just in general kind of you know doing some good setup for the stage I think is super important just because like otherwise you don't tend to do as much damage it can take a little bit of time then but yeah like you can see we really set up nicely with Bardock skill would have been cool to get a second super um i think that would have helped out like a lot getting a second super probably would have helped out um made it a little bit faster but overall it was more than fine like i said you're not really in like a huge like risk situation here uh, you, you know none of these units are going to die with like from a super or anything only team bardock will take a little bit of damage from normals and that because they don't have their defense at the threshold but the rest of the team you know more than fine like strength bardock's not gonna die from anything tech bardock's not gonna die shugesh has type advantage so he's fine Fasha maybe would take quite a bit of damage, same with Borgos, but again, probably fine as well. And then Toria will take a little bit of damage because of type disadvantage, but again, not a one-hit kill because he's been stacking. So realistically, you're not in like a risk situation, so you should be fine. Um, is this an easy free-to-play run? Yeah, probably. Uh, it's definitely probably one of the easier free-to-play runs in the game. Just because, you know, just because it's always one of those things where, you know, you're trying to do, like, all the content at once or, or something like that. But, yeah, basically, it's a pretty straightforward free-to-play run. Definitely one of the easiest and the most simple to put together. So, why not? Um, why not just, you know, have the easy run, I guess. There's no real kind of risk to it. There's no real like problems with it and if you can get a tech bardock friend that's like at rainbow then basically he'll carry you through the whole event which is always a bonus uh, it's always nice to be able to be carried by one unit so yeah but that is basically it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and yeah uh, we doing pretty well with these free to play challenges but i think we'll be jumping back to SBR and ESBR for a bit. But yeah, we'll see how things go. But see you guys next time. Bye.